After you, Chris, do the introduction. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what's good, y'all? It's Chris Gary, the Chill Meisters, Andrew Benjamin, the most suave looking dude out of New York training gyms. You're listening to the We Are Rising podcast, where we talk to y'all about all things about the Rising Fighting Federation and Japanese combat sports, or in some cases, we just tend to shoot the shit. You can follow me on Twitter at ChrisGary92, Andrew's on Twitter at Avenger1, and the whole show handle is at We Are Rising Pod, W E A R E R I Z I N P O D, all in one word. But enough about me talking. Andrew, it seems like we got a repeat guest that just would like to talk to us more about his upcoming fight career and, well, his upcoming fight in general because it's about a week away, right? Oh, yes. And, you know, we've we talked to him since his first fight, and it's great to see this, this fighter growing. Um, with us, we have Sayoshi Sadario, who will be taking on Shoma Shibisai at Ryzen 28 at, at the famed... Tokyo Dome, June 13th. You can watch it on live now if you're in the United States or outside Japan, or if you want to watch it uh, uh, through the Japanese commentary and all that stuff, go through uh, Rise and Live. But, but Sadara san thank you very much for talking to us. Yorishiku, yeah. onegaishimasu. Onegaishimasu. Um, so first question I got, I just want to briefly talk about your last <laughs> fight that we um, didn't get to talk to you about. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Ryzen record. How did you feel after that, uh, after that fight? One more time, please. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. So how did you feel after your last fight? Seven second knockout. A Ryzen record. Ma. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, wow, this is it? <laughs> I don't know what else to ask him because it only lasted seven seconds. It was a knockout. It was a beautiful knockout. I mean, what is it? I mean, what, 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 did, you, what did you learn from that fight uh, about yourself as a fighter? Uh, the fight was so short. There was really nothing to that learn. <laughs> mm. Chris, Chris, do you have any more questions about the about that previous fight before we talk mm. about his upcoming fight? I don't know what else to ask. It was so understood. We'll call him us. We'll call him us. But considering that uh, we have also the legendary Yamato Damashi instant Inoue on the line, I just have to ask him: Did you feel that Sudario should have prepared for a fight this quick? What is that? Like how he should he should have prepared? Well, you prepare properly so the fight goes that quick. Oh, right. Of course, of course. My, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a stupid question on my end because nobody knew that fight was going to end that damn quick. But considering we didn't know that, either. Understood. Wakai mas. Wakai mas. But I guess I guess if there's one yeah. question I can ask, I guess it's the one thing that like. I remember other than the knockouts up. I mean, can you just talk about what happened after the fight? There was, I know there was some yeah, emotion no, no, between no, no. you no, no, no. and um, uh, Miyamoto. And uh, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know for the English listeners out there who may not be who, like familiar with, with like what happened. Can you just tell us your side about um, the confrontation that happened? Well, the confrontation happened where um, Suyoshi was, uh, you know, he was fighting everything he got. So, he had a hard time stopping the punching. And that's understood for a fighter. Well, maybe he should have stopped a little earlier. But the referee was informed that, you know, think there was a lot of um, there was a lot of um, shit talk from Miyamoto's side. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the referee was was I told the referee to make sure he's ready to stop the fight because there's a lot of hot bad blood. Mm -hmm. And I was also kept myself ready to jump in the ring when I needed to, you know, as soon as possible. So if you notice, as soon as the, the fight ended, I was trying to get in the ring because I wasn't sure if uh, the water referee was going to be able to stop it. So I tried to, I got in as soon as I could. And unfortunately I got in like a couple seconds too late. He got off a, a, cu a couple of two um, unnecessary punches. 
when I got in and controlled him, the thing escalated because I already had Soshi controlled and his big, his corner man, which is, which even made it a living more, you know, more tension. He was a big boy, way bigger than me. He comes and shoves Soshi like he was going to aggress Soshi. Mm. So when that happened, that's when, you know, I turned around and what people don't realize is there was actually a conversation going on in that whole thing. Because when he pushed Yoshi, I jumped in saying, telling him my first words turning around to him was, hey, don't touch my student. He reacted to me looking at me like, ah, he doesn't give a fuck. So yeah. I, I went ahead and also corresponded with him like, this is not, because they're from a pro wrestling world. So I, I kind of responded saying, this is not pro wrestling. Anything you do in this ring is for real. And he screamed back to me, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, let's do it kind of thing. So that's why it escalated as far as it did i do admit that i should have calmed down a little sooner but you know i it got, I got too into this mode that like she was, she's like my son and i felt like i had to protect him and i i felt really offended that they actually tried to you know aggress him but regardless of what he did everyone said yeah but look what he did to that guy so okay that's a whole separate incident and as soon as i stopped him he started another incident is what my eyes see so I'm um, everything, you know, when we went to the back, as soon as we got to backstage, I went straight to the back, met up with them. Um, we, you know, level head, we got a little bit more level headed and we, we apologized to each other, you know, that, oh shit, he, he apologized to me for, for pushing so much. I apologize for not, you know, coming down a little sooner and, and, and putting my hand on his throat, you know. I, I put my hand on his throat for a reason because controlling the neck is probably the easiest to control a guy. It was hard for him to punch me if his neck is up in the air. So, you know, it might have looked like aggression, but it was more of a defensive move. And I, I threw no punches. Yeah. No, I mean, I was just about to say, I saw your apology video. You posted on, I think it was YouTube or Instagram, maybe both. Um, it was, yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, you provided a full explanation, both in Japanese and in English. So it was just like, oh, okay. And, you know, things, you know, emotions happen during a fight, you know, and, you know, people lose control. Um, yeah, it's a part of it. And you know what? The, the ma 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 most important thing is rising, understood. They're okay with it. Um, Miyamoto and his side is okay with it. So um, as, I was, as far as I'm concerned, as far as we're okay with it, they're okay with it. The promotions are okay with it. All these other pussies on the online that's talking shit and being, you know, like Musashi <laughs> and Masato talking shit without it having information, they can go fucking suck eggs. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I just find it funny that you, so far in your career, in your MMA career, you've been involved as a cornerman in two in-ring altercations. I think the first one was when your um, brother fought, was it your brother fought uh, Frank Shamrock? Was it? No, mm -hmm. I fought Shamrock. No, My sorry, brother went in. That was it. Yes, yes. So it's funny how you've been involved in two, it's it, it, like directly and indirectly in two in-ring confrontations in your Yeah, in your yes, the message is watch out when you fight us, we get fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. But to be <laughs> quite honest, Mr. Inouye, I know that when it comes down to your fight career, obviously you're happily retired. But let's just say if Miyamoto were to ask for a rematch, and obviously you would say no. I mean, would you welcome an exhibition against him? Maybe a little pro wrestling exhibition? Who, me? I mean, yeah, to be honest, even though I know no. that you're happy. Retired. No, I'm retired. I'm retired. If he wants to fight, he can come to my house and threaten my life. Yeah, that's the only that's fight I'll get into with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. Five that's three. a bad idea. I, rec I don't recommend that. But speaking of, <laughs> speaking of fights, we got to talk about a really exciting fight. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm guessing as a coach, you're really excited for it as well, uh, in your way, son. Yeah. Because finally, someone who's not a pro wrestler, someone who actually has a great, uh, like a, 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 a good fighting record. It's somebody who really gets to test, you get the test against uh, Sudario san and uh, Shoma mm. Shibisai. Interesting, both you, uh, both, uh, I mean, uh, Sudario and Shibisai, all, of, all the fights have been finishes, none has gone to a decision. And All right. So uh, I think you know. Yeah, I, I'm curious to hear from Sadario San. How did he feel when he got the when he got the call uh, that Shibisai was going to be his next opponent? Okay, hold on. Yeah, Shibisai. So you know, I did the Shitaki Doi Hanji. Doi Hanji. Oh, yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So 
のヘビー級でやってる MMA ファイターと。He said, yeah, finally he's actually fighting a real heavyweight MMA fighter. So,、mm. is, is the training like, because I don't want to say that the other opponents were of less caliber, but like with this one, obviously it's a different, hot, a different level than the other opponents that Sadario has faced. So, is the training any more intense or you focus on and more anything specific to get him prepared for a fighter who is as well rounded as Shibasai? まあ、特別にやってることっていうか、まあ、相手が、まあ、得意なことを、まあ、よくどあのなるポ,ポジションの練習。So rather than really to nothing really special, but of course with every opponent, you know, we, we focus on their strengths and、um, practice、uh, avoiding their strengths and, and, and capitalizing on their weaknesses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And、uh, so What would you say the, the biggest strength that Sudario,、uh, this is Sudario's honor, what, what's your biggest strength that you have against、uh, Shibisai? Shibisai ni taisu, ichiban suoi ten, nan desu. Heart is his heart. Do you think, do you foresee this fight going long at all? Do you think this is going to be first round finish on your end? San nan ma di kuka, ichi round de wadu, do you go so? He said, rather than finishing it right away, you know, he's going to fill it out, see how it goes, and when he has a chance, he wants to finish it.、Mm-hmm. Uh, the other question I also have is for this fight,、um, or, or just for your、um, training. I saw that you were training up in、uh, Las Vegas. I think it was Syndicate MMA, was it? No, it was a Shrimp Couture. Oh, to, excuse me, Shrimp Couture.、Oh. Um, What was the training like there? And tell us, you know, because I know, you know, in a way, San wanted to really get you to America to not only meet UFC, but also do some training. How did it feel to train at Extreme Couture? And、uh, yeah, what did you, anything that you learned there? Extreme Couture, you know, what was the He said he learned a shitload. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's something that's important,、um, Sudarta san? I think also,、uh, if in a way,、uh, in a way, san, you want to answer as well. Do you think that it's important for, for, for fighters to, to, tra- to train internationally, to go to different camps and just experience a different atmosphere to improve as a fighter? It's important. Yeah, he said he thinks it's very important. and Every chance he gets, he wants to get up there and train. I also think the same thing. He needs to, one, I think it's good for him because for him to mix with real heavyweights, experienced heavyweights. And the other thing is also is, you know, the confidence thing. You know, he, I don't want him to jump into a ring with an ex UFC fighter the first time him mixing it with somebody psychologically, you know, to be fighting someone that's so big and famous, you know. I think it was a good experience him to you know, mix. He mixed with a lot with Walt Harris and Latifi. <laughs> He had good work there, and you know, it's a good experience and exposure for him to fight,、uh, you know, world class opponents. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm.、Uh, when, 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 he, mm. when you walked into the gym, Sadara san, I mean, yeah, Walt Harris is a big guy, i r o Ratifi is short, but he's stocky. You must have been the biggest guy there. I think, I don't think every, I think you must have towered over everybody. Is that where people just like in awe of just how, how big of a, of a person you were? <sighs> アメリカ行ったらワールドカップの選手もいるんだけど、彼の想像は少子がみんなより大きいから、そういう感じだったです。あ、僕、あなたが行ってみんなびっくりしたあなたの大きさ。違うよね。<笑>逆に自分よりでかくて。He said, no, he, he, most of the guys in the gym was bigger than him. Oh, really? He felt、oh. like a small guy. Really? Okay, I'm actually honestly surprised because I know because、uh, I just saw Walt Harris fight yesterday and I was just thinking, um, uh, because I remember the picture and I was like, oh, was Sadario bigger than I thought? I thought, I thought Sadario would be. Oh, Walt Harris was a lot bigger than Tsuyoshi. Really? Okay, wow, that surprises me. That, that honestly surprises me. Okay, okay. Um, but so what would you say is the main difference between training, uh, training at, uh, at, uh, Extreme Couture 
uh, versus your training in Japan? Like, what, what did you find was the biggest difference in the training style? Training style ま、<笑> Yeah, he said when he went there, you know, wrestling with guys like, you know, um, legit heavyweight wrestlers like Latifi and, you know, like guys that can do shit on the ground. Like even like he works with Jake Shields and um, Kevin Lee, you know, and even like um, Walt Harris is standing like that. He said that, it, that he realized, you know, how it, he got to feel what it was for a good heavy guy in different disciplines to spar and the he realized that he, he technically he really needs to improve in his technique. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good to hear. That's really good to hear. Chris, I'm going to pass it on to you to ask some questions to our esteemed guests. Okay, okay. Well, when it came down to this upcoming fight that you're going to have with Shoma Shibisai, I basically said on the rise in English language Twitter, Twitter thread, my apologies, that this was going to be two big slabs of meat going at it. <laughs> and I thought, I mean, I think that you, Sudario, are going to probably win this fight by knockout, but what do you think you probably, what am I trying to ask? What is it that Ensign has trained you for if this fight potentially gets out of that first round? Like, are you prepared to, are you prepared to go the distance if the fight calls for it? ま、大きいどうしていいと思うんですかって。あの、エンセンと練習してるの準備はとてもやばい。1ラウンドで終わらなかったら3ラウンド行くの。その準備できた。あ、もちろんその、ま、どの試合も3ラウンド戦い抜
but he like I I feel like Shrek would be even a fight below. Like if he uh, uh, if Sadario would beat Chibisa, uh, I think, that's, that's, uh, I think really Shrek is like no muscle, isn't it? Down. Yeah, we think so too. And like, if anything, Shrek should have been first, and then maybe yeah, we Shrek was hucky that night. No. Yeah, we thought Shrek was going to be the call when we when we heard Shibisa. We was kind of surprised that it was not Shrek. Actually, uh, it, uh, if you don't mind me asking, anyway, so how long was how how much notice was this fight given? Because uh, we it was just announced this this past week. Um, Shibisa um, Shibisa 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 about the end of April, beginning of May, we found out. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, so okay, because I, I think initially when it was announced, when it was announced last week, I was like, there's no way this fight could have been just signed for like th this entire week. It must have been like in the talk for quite a while. Oh, yeah, we knew ahead of time. Um, but I also, I guess, the, another question I'm really curious to know about. So, you know. I mean, with this, uh, w with these fights getting rescheduled and all that stuff, I don't know. Like, uh, did that affect the training at all as well? Because, you know, Tokyo's going to a state of emergency, it seems like every fucking week. Yeah, he said actually it was supposed to be sooner, so it was pushed a little later, so it actually was helpful. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Um, yep. Uh, just uh, it's, uh, well, I guess the other big question I have is, you know, this is going to be at the Tokyo Dome. Uh, mm. the, the bit, you know, there hasn't been an MMA um, event there in many, 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 many years. Mm -hmm. and, um, how, do you feel mm -hmm. be, how do you feel to be uh, fighting at the Tokyo Dome? Uh, he has uh, no, he doesn't have any special feelings. This, he said, yeah, because the ring is the ring. It doesn't matter where it's at. Mm, okay. Mm. So what you're basically saying is no pressure, right? <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Um. But so, uh, I mean, after this, I mean, so yeah, it's, you said Shrek, but I mean, like, what about the possibility of looking at the UFC just because you want to you want to take it to the next level? Is that something that you're thinking about, or do you see yourself yeah, yeah. doing a few more fights in Ryzen, or is, um, <laughs> anything that you can uh, talk about that? So you know, share well, UFC, まあ、契約の内容は言えないですけど、まあ、まだ契約が残ってるから、その、まあ、その、ライジンでや,や,こうやっていく中で、まあ、経験を積んでじあの、レベルアップできたらいいです。He said, yeah, he's a, a, currently under contract with Rising, so、um, while he's under contract, he wants to fight in the Rising and get, get experience and get better there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, oh, and actually, I wanted to also ask uh, insta on your Instagram, you're posting your um, the, um, in body, in body uh, pro progress, and uh, yeah, just uh, where are you right now, um, currently, uh, for the people that don't follow you on Instagram, on Instagram, where where is your body now in terms of like mass, weight, and all that stuff? Just you know, my face, you know, so you know, so you know, so you know, so you so he said that um, he, uh, he, the, the machine says that he's increased in muscle mass and dropped some body fat, and he feels uh, a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what you're basically saying is one day we will probably see Swole Boy. Sudario, correct? <laughs> uh, what's that? We'll probably see something like swole boy Sudario later on, right? He'll, he'll be nice and swole. He'll be he'll be he'll 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 be, he'll be all muscle. He'll be he'll, his he'll be a, a heavyweight <laughs> muscle man. Yeah, gradually he wants to um shape up and you know cut up. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Are you are you, are you just uh, in a way, son? I'm. Are you surprised by how his body has just been able to like change like this positively? Because you know a lot of it seems like a lot of sumo f- or former sumo f- fighters, you know, they try to lose the weight, but for some reason, you know, I don't know what they just their body's not adapting to that. But it seems like Sidario is able to 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 shed the shino, shed the pounds and put on the muscles the easily. Oh, no, I'm not really surprised. Um, he's putting in a lot of hard work, and you know, of course. Um, you're not going to make huge weight gains and huge weight change. So I feel like the amount he's, the amount of muscle he's gaining and strength that he's gaining, it, it's a, in right in tune to the amount he's training and how he's training. So, um, you know, his, uh, his improvement is all from hard work. So it's not surprising at all. Gotcha. Gotcha. And, and yeah, you know, uh, I mean, it, I, I'm following on, on Instagram and social media. Yeah. You know, he, from, from his first fight to now, his the his body transformation is like really you could do like before and after for like those commercials that show like I, I lost sixty pounds on the Nutra system whatever the fuck diet and like but like legitimately Sidario like what from like for his first fight to now it's been like an incredible transformation overall. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Uh, and I know that Chris is gonna hate me, hate me for asking this, but uh, you know, uh, it just happened uh, about an hour ago. So, but uh, well, my la- my last big question is, uh, what did you think of uh, Mayweather versus Logan Paul or Jake Paul? I don't know who the fuck it is. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't know what to say. He said he saw it, but. Um... Well, he, it wasn't anything that he really, he doesn't know what to say, period. <laughs> uh, Sudario-san, Sudario-san, you can say it's uh, Kuso. You can say it's Kuso. Uh, Kuso, Kuso. shit. <laughs> is that, is that pronounced? Is that pronounced, pronounced in a way? Is that, does that mean like shit, like garbage or crap or whatever? Kuso is like shit. Um, if you want to really say like garbage, you say gomi. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Or uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Jozo Jari Masen? Does that mean not good or? Yeah, not uh, good is Jozo. Jozo Jari Masen. Um, what, what do you think of it anyway, San? I was impressed with the, tech, the technicality of uh, Floyd, how he, I think the first six rounds, he didn't even get touched. And, and I was kind of surprised at his timing on how he was countering. It was a little, um, it was a little, uh, it was little like ah, I wasn't fully satisfied. I kind of wanted to see a knockout, or not necessarily who knocks out who. I wanted to see if Logan Paul landed something big. I wanted to see if uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather could school him really good. So I, I guess I, for me, I I ordered it. We watched it here, and I kind of wanted a little more. Mm. Something about it was just kind of like ah, it didn't. It didn't like the hype wasn't worth the fight. Uh, if the opportunity ever came up and uh, uh, Sakaki Barasan uh, came to you and said, I would like to book uh, Sudario san <coughs> versus Shibatar, would you allow Sudario to take the fights? <laughs> oh, you're asking me? Yes, oh, yes. Did he keep it or so Shibatar to, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'll let him take the fight. I mean, if the rules were right and, you know, if they want to have an MMA fight with um, Shibata, I would be fine. If, if she or she's game with it, I'm game with it. Okay, cool, cool. Well, Sadario san would you accept the fight? Shibata to He said he doesn't see the reason for doing that. Oh, interesting. Um, I mean, I know. I I guess it it would just increase your name value to people who may not know who you are uh, at this point. Ah, he's only ninety kilos. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, we were, we're approached with fighting uh that Kunimoto too. Mm-hmm. Oh, Kunimoto. But um. Right now, I, I would I would renick my answer with that Shibata. 
the fact that we're trying to fight and get him into the heavyweights, it would be like every fight we want to use a stepping stone to get to the heavyweight. So Shibata yeah. would wouldn't be a fight that'd be worth his time, yeah, because it's, it's there's no there'll be no no learning from that. Gotcha. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. So the small um, guys can fight the small guys, bring on the big guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. I mean, it is kind of crazy because you did say that Shibatar weighed in at 90 kilos, which is about 199 pounds or 190, really. But still, I mean, I know that y'all say that y'all said that Mayweather Paul fight was Kuso, which is garbage. I basically call it Avarena Giso. Pathetic sadness because they basically wasted a lot of money to put on a fight that nobody wanted to watch. But I think that this particular fight between Sudario and Shibatar would be just to the moon. (laughs) Well, Uh, he said that he's not trying to get viewers on YouTube and he's so for him it's like it's it's about his his improvement as a fighter and his career so for him it wouldn't wouldn't interest him that's so interesting to hear because the whole oh, thing the sure. whole the cool thing well I, mean, I guess the in thing now for Japanese fighters is to mm. become YouTube famous you know Azakura uh, and uh, Kintaro and um a number of other uh, Koji, Kozi, uh, have have all like made really um, high viewership YouTube channels, and I I don't I'm surprised I'm really uh, it's kind of like it's different uh, and good to hear that Sudario san is like I just want to I want to I want to be a better fighter, not be a YouTube guy. <laughs> YouTube、YouTube、YouTube、やりたい。ああ。で、少しの方がもう YouTube より試合 oh. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so actually um I, I with this this show is also going to have the Rise and Bantamweight Grand Prix. And if I don't know if if what you say if things become a little bit better in the next few months, we see Rise and bring in a few more foreigners like uh the um like uh, Tofik Musayev and Vulgar Karimov. And maybe if they can bring in a certain amount of fighters for maybe like, it, would you be, would you like to do a grand heavyweight or open weight Grand Prix uh, if Ryzen were to bring in some international uh, heavyweights? I'm a small tournament. I'm a small tournament. もっとヘビー級選手呼べばヘビー級トーナメントの興味ありますかトーナメントは興味ないですねはい、he's uh, not interested in fighting a tournament oh interesting uh can you expand upon that sudario san nande nande uh take your time take your time one night or just a tournament format, but it's one fight a night. Oh, oh, uh, sorry. I think you may have broken up during the answer. Uh, what was, what did you, what do you, could you repeat what he said again? So he's asking, are, are you asked the question meaning tournament? Is it a, a one day tournament or is it a tournament like the Grand Prix where they're having it one fight on different events? He's uh, basically the Grand yeah. Prix. Uh, yeah, one, like, day, one day, like, one day, like, like, yeah. yeah, so if that's the case, yeah, he's interested in a turn. He's not interested in fighting more than once in one night. So gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Um, with, with that being said, Chris, I want to give you the, the, the last uh, the last word. Thanks. So Chris, after you. Okay. So this fight next weekend, June 13th, you versus Shibi side. What is your prediction? for this fight because I already said that this fight will end in a first or second round knockout. Mm-hmm. 
もう終わらせるつもりではいます。He's thinking that、um, within, the next, within two rounds, there'll probably be an opportunity and he thinks he can finish it in two rounds. Okay, わかります。わかります。With that being said, any social media to plug? あ最後にあのな、自分が言いたいことある特にないです。YouTube。あ、あそうですね。あの、でも多分それサプライズなんですね。Oh, okay. No, nothing. No, you are not. Oh, when is this going to. Eh? Oh, sorry, you guys. You, you, you guys froze.、Uh... See? Oh, sorry about that.、Uh, anyway, Son, you froze while. When, when are you guys going to air this?、Um... I mean, I just hope. I mean, to be honest, I don't know when we're going to hear it. You're going to have to talk to Andrew about that. But I know one thing I'm going to be editing the hell out of this for the audio side. Sorry, it'll probably be by Wednesday or Thursday. You'll be good. You'll be good. No, that is not. Okay. So, it's not. Well, YouTube, you're not going to be able to do it. But, you're not going to be able to do it. Okay, so we, the reason why we asked、um, uh, when it's going to air is because he wasn't, he wasn't, he's not really, he wasn't really that interested in doing a YouTube channel, but he actually had the opportunity and it was approached by people. So tomorrow there's going to be a, a surprise announcement of his YouTube channel launching. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, like there was no, I, I, I could put it, I could put this out after,、uh, after、okay. Wednesday. Or at the Tuesday. So, he wants to say to everybody、um, follow, subscribe to his YouTube channel. That's、okay. his message. Okay.、Mm -hmm. And other than that, your Twitter and Instagram as well? Instagram or Twitter. Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, oh, oh, also, actually,、uh, does he have any sponsors he wants to plug as well? Does Sudario sign any sponsor? いいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいい Or anything else, the floor、Basically, is his. What Andrew is saying is if Shibisai wasn't. Basically, if Shibisai was listening to this, what does he want to say? Shibisai is going to be a good message. I'm not going to be a good message. I'm not going to be a good message. I'm not going to be a good message for Shibisai. <laughs> gonna leave it all in the ring. Gonna leave it all in the ring. Don't you love that? Don't you love that? No message at all. <laughs> yes. Some, sometimes, do. sometimes the best, the, 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 the most, the, the most, um, the most. What Andrew was trying to say is the best things to say is nothing.、Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. How many no comment are each of them? That's what I meant、yeah. to say. But,、uh, yes. <laughs> He'll speak in the ring. Yes, yes, yes. And、uh, you can see、uh, Sudari san speak in the ring this Sunday night, Saturday morning、uh, for us on the East Coast. Well, it's Saturday night, Sunday morning, dude. That's what I said. That's what I said. Saturday night, Sunday morning.、Uh, <laughs> June 13th, Ryzen 28th. If you're United States like us, you can watch on a live now, or you can just watch it through the Japanese feed on Ryzen、mm -hmm. Live. But it's going to be a great, fantastic show. We're looking forward to Sudario san getting some, some legit competition. And、uh, yeah, thank you again for taking the time to talk to us, both of you,、uh, anyway, san, Sudario san. Right. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.